Working Smarter Camera Splitting Camera Splitting is a one smart technique that I learned when working at animation companies. It is a way of cleaning our files manually based on what the camera is viewing. Camera splitting should be done after the approval of camera movements and before renderings. In camera splitting, we keep only what we need and delete the rest, which results in a lighter scene and a faster rendering. Let's make an experiment. Here is our full scene and here is our dolly camera. Let's go to frame 150 and try to render a still shot. And boom, Max has crashed. V-Ray unhandled exception message appears and Max closed. Unhandled exception error usually appears when you don't have enough RAM on your system to handle the scene. The reason my scene is taking too much RAM is this hedge shrubs material, which has a displacement map. Always be aware of displacement maps, they are a RAM killers. Let's disable displacement from all the scene, in case any other material is having a displacement map. To disable displacement, go to Render Setup, in the V-Ray tab, go to Global Switches and untick displacement. Go back to our camera, frame 150, and render. It renders just fine. Okay, but I still want my displacement in this camera. Well, the thing is, displacement is not for big scenes. Displacement is for close-ups. If it is done in a big scene, it kills the RAM, so use it only when the camera is near the displayed object, and disable it when it's far. In far cameras, you won't feel any difference from displacement, it will only make your scene heavy and crash. Okay, here comes the solution, camera splitting. Here is my camera, and here is the whole scene. I will select everything I see in my camera view and keep holding control while selecting everything along the animation and right click hide selection. Make sure you also hide other stuff that the model depends on like bevel profile custom sections or particle system icons. Select more objects that might appear in reflections like trees behind the cameras and streets and hide them as well. Double check that the camera view here is empty along the animation. Lastly, select the camera and hide it. Now press Ctrl plus A to select all and delete everything. Now unhide all and here is our file split it to only this camera. Now go to files, save as, give it a new name and save it. Notice the difference in max file size. The full scene was 680 megas and our file now is 53 megas less than 10% of the full scene. Now let's render frame 150. It renders in 3 minutes and 45 seconds, less than with the full scene, the render was 4 minutes and 4 seconds. Let's now enable back the displacement and enable it in materials and render. It renders fine, displacement is enabled, file hasn't crashed and ready to render. So that was camera splitting, a technique that might save you 
if you ever got stuck with a crashy file.